So this is the parts we're going to be using for this particular mining rig. Uh, I'll say ahead of time that I was at the uh, mercy of my local university campus store for the ordering of these parts because uh, I can put them on payroll deduction through there. So we'll go ahead and get started just with a, uh, looking over these parts. There's the tools we're going to be using, hole punch, some clippers, screwdriver, and the wire there is the actual power switch um, for the rig itself. Uh, we're going to be using an EVGA 1000 watt power supply, the 1000 GQ. That'll be powering four MSI Gaming X Radeon RX 580s. Uh, I'm going to be trying out this Asus Prime B250 Plus um, motherboard uh, powered uh, with a Celeron G3950 3 gigahertz CPU, uh, 8 gigs of RAM there. And uh, to hold everything, I went to my local Home Depot and got the three shelf storage unit. It's uh, 24 by 14 by 30 inches high. And then the video cards will all be mounted to this shelf here. It's a Basically, it's a 9 by 24 or 8 by 24 inch shelf. And those will be what the risers right here will be mounted to. And then the video cards will go in those. I'm um, using a, just a little OCZ 60 gig SSD drive. The uh, zip ties and screws, the screws will be used to mount the risers to the board. The zip ties there will be used in conjunction with the mounting bases to mount the motherboard to my cheapo cutting board that we got from our local grocery store. The hole punch will be used to punch holes in that to mount it to the wire rack. So this is just kind of a brief overview of all the parts you will need to build your basic mining rig. Um, you know, we'll post a complete part list in the, uh, in the description of the video. And then as the video continues, we'll, uh, go into a little more detail on everything, but here's your general parts that are required. All right, here we go. This is our rack all assembled. Now we've got the CPU and memory mounted in our motherboard here, as well as the power switch attached. And we're just going to mark our holes for the, uh, to mount the, motherboard to our swell super discount cutting board we got from our local grocery store just using the sharpie to do the marking all right all marked up now we're going to take our uh, zip tie mounting one by one right one inch by one inch mounting brackets and I fix them to the dots on the motherboard. Just basically line up the center of those brackets with the uh, with the dots, and should be good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and just feed the zip tie through the hole on the motherboard, and then down through the mounting bracket. Just like that. Go ahead and do that for the other holes on the motherboard as well. And we'll be all done mounting the motherboard to our base. Alright, so we've got the uh, zip ties fastened the motherboard down securely. Just going to clip off the extra. And we're going to just use our hole punch to punch a hole in the corners of this to be able to zip tie this to the actual metal rack. We'll transfer the motherboard to the metal rack now. And just zip tied just like so. All right, so here's our power supply hooked up with the cables plugged into it. I've got my hard drive mounted there, and then our cables plugged into the motherboard with the power and the CPU. Uh, we've got the zip tie up here, kind of holding the cable up out of the way of the CPU fan, and then I've got my power switch zip tied to the corner over here to turn it on and off 
and uh, yeah the progress of the build continues all right we're getting ready to build our actual uh, video card shelf now so for placement of these PCIe risers what you want to do is place one of your video cards in it and then uh, line it up so that the fin touches the board and that'll give you the depth of how far back your PCIe riser card will need to be and then the spacing between the two cards you want to basically measure out four inches from each of the uh, PCIe slots themselves on the riser cards and have them be four inches apart that's your spacing between the cards but to get the spacing distance towards the uh, rear of the shelf this is what you want to do just mount your card so that the fins touch the edge of the shelf and then mark the corner so you know your depth and that's uh, essentially how you'll do it okay so here's our four uh, PCIe risers mounted to our shelf um, we've left room because I plan on maybe expanding to six cards once the next generation of uh, AMD video cards come out for my gaming rig that I'm going to put my other two cards into for now but uh, yeah so we've left the space at the end of the shelf there for that but recommendation here is get the uh, screws started into the shelf with the screw gun but uh, do not tighten them down tighten them down by hand with the with your uh, manual screwdriver there just because uh, you don't want to risk cracking the board of the card and uh, this allows for a little bit of play to uh, adjustments as well and the spacing, like I said, is four inches between the cards. Um, so we measured between basically from each PCIe slot, the center of each PCIe slot, you got four inches between. And that's uh, what we've determined is a really adequate amount of spacing to give enough fresh air flow between the cards so the, air, the cards can pick up fresh air and cool air. Uh, sweet. We'll uh, pick up again. All right. Here we are. Everything plugged in. We got the video cards attached. And as you can see, we secured with both a screw and zip tie combo to get them a, some more stability there. So now we're just ready to uh, power this bad boy up and begin flashing each of the video cards. So, all right, here we have the rig up and running. Got all four cards going. Everything's where it's going to be. And then just give you an idea. We're getting an average of uh, right around 107. High 107 to low 107. Um, mega hashes. Each card averaging about 26, sometimes low 27s for the uh, MSI. Gaming X RX 580s. Apparently, I might have overclocked one of them a little high, it says, but we'll see. <laughs> this is by far the most tedious part of the process, I can honestly say, is getting all these cards fine tuned to where they perform without crashing. So, all right, so. Thank you guys for watching this far. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick impression overall. This was my first mining rig build. Of course, I had the uh, assistance of our mining intern who has done uh, uh, many other rigs in the past. Um, he, you've seen his videos. He's the full-on expert I've got that I've gone to for help. Um, my impressions overall of, of building the rig was really fun. Um, you can see it behind me. I like the, uh, you know, the design, building everything out and kind of getting everything in place and putting all the parts together. That was fun. Um, one of the things I found is you can't ever be sure of is, uh, how your card's going to perform based on a few factors, right? Number one factor is always the memory manufacturer. When I loaded up GPU Z and checked out the mem memory manufacturer and saw it wasn't Samsung, it was kind of anybody's ballgame at that point of how, how the, uh, card was going to perform. Um, and of course, because it wasn't Samsung, it seems to not perform as well as the Samsung cards do, the, the ones with Samsung RAM. So, you know, that, that's kind of a, a, a minus, quote-unquote, in the minus column. But I think that overall, um, you know, it went very well. I was happy with how everything went. We don't show the BIOS flashing and the uh, 
um, all, all the MSI Afterburner stuff because there's plenty of content out there on YouTube um, to look up and, and find that out for yourself, which is what we did in the beginning um, to, to find all those. So um, one thing I would like to do is give a quick shout out to CryptoMind. He's, uh, he's been a big help in this process as well. Um, check out his YouTube channel. It's just CryptoMind with a D at the end. He also has a website, CryptoMind.com. So check him out. He's got some awesome uh, uh, parts for your for your mining rig and, and can get you hooked up. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, keep mining.